my little monsters, welcome to House Labs. As you already know from the title, today I'm gonna test Lady Gaga makeup and we'll see if we can turn this poker face into art pop or it's gonna be a bad romance. Oh, and I have to warn you, I have a lot of more of those lame Lady Gaga references. So get ready, and I'm not saying that Lady Gaga songs are lame, just my jokes are, but roll with it. To be honest, I had a million reasons why not to spend my money on house lab makeup, but then all the makeup gurus start raving about Lady Gaga makeup. And I got curious if it's really that good or they just want to be kept on PR list and they are afraid of Lady Gaga monsters coming at them. So I thought I'm gonna order it, I'm gonna test it out and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. Because you know me, if I'm not gonna like the product, I'm just gonna tell you. And it doesn't matter if it's made by Gaga, Jeffree Star, Beyonce or my mother. If it's gonna be shit, I'm gonna tell you. But I hope I'm gonna like this because I don't want Gaga monsters hunting me down and basically burning me alive. Before I'm gonna go to swatches and actually applying makeup, I just wanna tell you why I wasn't interested in those guys in first place. Well, first of all, the visuals, I wasn't sold. I know what kind of vibe she went for, but for me, the makeup look a little bit sloppy and quite amateur and the shadows didn't look like they blend nicely. Even on the main picture with Gaga, the black doesn't look like it blends at all. And on this picture, the black and gray eyeshadow looks so patchy. So I thought it's gonna be like a low quality. And the second reason is pre-order. So hey girl, if you want my money honey, I want my product. So let me just quickly check my Instagram because I posted the promo video as soon as she released this and it was on 10th of July. So you had to wait three months to get your products and I believe Lady Gaga is quite rich and for sure Amazon has money. So I don't know why you wanna do pre-order, not just like a proper launch when you can actually order the products. So if you want my money in advance, I want to get something extra and it's not me being shallow, I think it's just how it should be. And this is the case with video games. So if you buy a video game in pre-order, you always get like a additional character, some extra levels or whatever. You know why you are paying in advance. Here, there wasn't any discount, there wasn't any gift with purchase. You get the same products if you pay three months ago, or if you're gonna pay today. Is that all right? For me, personally, no. But if it's all right with you, do what you want, it's your money. If you wanna pay in advance and wait three months, up to you, don't come for me. It's just how I like to handle my money. If I'm paying for something, I wanna have my product immediately and I don't like to wait. Just like I'm keeping you waiting for actual reviews. So enough of me talking, let's dig into those goodies. I've other House of Chained Ballerina set and Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder in shade Rose Beige. So in the set we have three products. Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder in shade Chained Ballerina. Lip liner in shade On Point and La Riot lip gloss in shade Corset. If you order the set, it's £46 and it's basically £5 cheaper than if you would order all those products separately. And you get this quite cute pouch for free. Most of YouTubers complain about packaging. They say it's too simple and it's not enough gaga. And on one hand, I agree. When I heard that Gaga is releasing her makeup line, I immediately thought about McQueen kind of vibes. So I was expecting something more bold, something more unique. But on the other hand, Gaga is a queen of doing unexpected. So if you were all expecting for this bold, crazy packaging and she released this matte, black, simple packaging, well, actually, it's very unexpected, so it's on brand. And to be honest, in real life, it looks so much better than in pictures. It's high quality and I like this smoke glass and at the end you have this diamond top when you can see the shade. Okay, let's do some swatches. The products that I was most excited about are Glam Attacks, those liquid shimmery powder eyeshadows. So they say you have to shake it well. So first, I'm gonna swatch Rose Beach. Oh my god, it's so creamy and so comfortable on the skin. And the shade is so pretty. It has a little bit like a metallic sheen to it. And let me see how it blends. Woo! 
Okay, it blends beautifully. And now I'm gonna swatch the black one, Chained Ballerina. Oh my god, it feels so luxurious on the skin. I think I'm gonna be obsessed with this black. Okay, you can definitely smoke this, but it doesn't blend as smoothly as Rose Beige. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of Rose Beige on my crease. And with Jeffree Star Drama Crease Brush, I'm gonna try to blend this. And because I'm using those for the first time, I wanna go step by step, not to overdo it, because we can always add more. And so far I can say those blend so easily. And the look that I'm going for today, it's gonna be something beautiful, dirty, rich. And now with the flat brush, I'm gonna dig straight to the applicator, just to intensify the crease. And I'm gonna apply this as well on my lower lash line. Hey, this one was super easy to use. Now I understand all the hype. And now I'm gonna go with the black chained ballerina and just apply all over my lid. And I'm just gonna smoke the edges a little bit. Okay, the black is a little harder to blend. So I'm gonna go back to bigger fluffy brush. And I'm gonna try to smoke the edges even more. Cute! With a flat brush, I'm just gonna try to smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, this is dope. I love it. I honestly love it. It's like a perfect illusion smoky eye. All we need is like a bold lash. So let me apply this off camera to the other eye and I'll be right back. And this is the final eye look with the lashes. I think it looks so pretty and it goes well with my brown eyes. In the House Laboratories collection there is also liquid eyeliner and face lace, but I thought I don't need those in my life, so I didn't order them. And now let's go for lips. I'm gonna start with Rip Lip Liner in shade On Point, and it's supposed to be Demi Matte Finish. And the packaging, for some reason, it's giving me Harry Potter vibes. And I went for like a quite nude, neutral shade. But right now I feel like it might be a little bit too brown, too orangey for my skin tone. But in the set you cannot pick and choose shades, so I'm gonna roll with it. In the House Labs collection you have six lip liners and all of them on the super pale skin look very dark. Like, look at the picture. I wish there was like a more nudey pinky shade that would look on my pale skin like the mid is looking on this medium dark skin in the top corner. But now I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna overline my lips a little bit. Lip liner went on very smoothly, it applied like a dream, but is it the cue for my small lips? Mm, I don't think so. If it was more pinky, maybe yes, but this shade didn't knock my socks off. And now let's go for the Riot Gloss Ultra Shine Lip Gloss. And I have one in shade Corset, which is also nude. And the most interesting thing about this lip gloss is the shape of applicator. It is curved to shape of your lips. It's a thick high shine formula and I see like my hair is already sticking to it. But on the lips it doesn't feel that sticky. It's quite comfortable. I think it's a little bit too orangey for me, especially with this eye look. I wish I went with the shade Blaze. But I will give it another chance with more brownie gold eye look and then maybe I will like it more. But for today, this is the final look. Do I look like a sophisticated lady or highway unicorn? Let me know in the comments down below. And now let's go for my final thoughts. So as far as Glam Attack All Over Liquid Shimmer Powder, the longest name ever, I really love them, I like the formula, I like how they apply. Those are gonna be great for simple, quick, smoky eye, but you can also create something more bold, something more fashion, more editorial. And those are also gonna be amazing if you wanna do wet eye look, and for sure I'm gonna do one with the chain ballerina, the black one. So definitely applause for Gaga for this one. And as far as lip products go, well, I'm gonna say those are really nice, the quality is there, you definitely getting your money worth, but at the same time, it's nothing special, it's nothing unique. You can definitely find that kind of lip liner and the lip gloss in few different brands. Some of them might be even a little bit cheaper. And there are only six shades of lip gloss, so it's hard to find your perfect match, especially for me with my super pale skin. So I'm definitely not living my lash life with the lip products, but I'm sure Gaga's gonna release so much more that's gonna leave us speechless.
But to be fair, when Kat Von D started, she released only one shade of red lipstick with Sephora. Then she released four shades and now she has this huge empire. And the same goes for Jeffree Star. I believe he started with only four shades of liquid lipstick and now it's this huge brand. So let's give it Lady Gaga and House Labs a little bit more time. And if she's gonna release more products like this eyeshadows, girl, I'm buying. And I think that it has. I hope you enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed this eye look and I'm gonna dig into those more often. If you're gonna try any of House Labs products, let me know in the comments down below what do you think. And as always, click that subscribe button, give me thumbs up, show me some love, show me some support and see you on the next one. Bye!